Hey there everyone, how's it going? And welcome to Todd's Tech Tips. Today is Google I.O. and we're going to take a look at the new Google Play Music app for Android. So, first off, Google Play Music app has been revamped heavily. We've got about three main features here. We've got the brand new design, we've got instant mixes, we've got the shop integration, and I guess one more, we have now an option to uh, for streaming and subscription music. So that's Google's answer to Spotify. So Spotify is, of course, a subscription-based service that allows you to stream music instead of having to buy it. It's $9, and it's only, in the, it's only in America right now, so I can't get access to it. But I'm sure I'll have a look once it is available. So first off, we've got Listen Now, My Library, Playlists, Instant Mixes, and Shop. The only two additions here are Instant Mixes and Shop. Um, instant Mixes, think of it as genius for your Android phone. So Genius is, of course... Uh, Apple's DJing service, which allows you to pick a song and make an instant mix, an instant playlist of it. So songs that the phone thinks go well with the song you choose. So if we go to listen now, we are, I'll pick an artist here, I'll pick Blackmill, who's a fellow YouTuber. First off, the new artist viewer, we have a cover photo for the artist, the artist itself, and the songs. Well, the album itself, sorry. And the cover, I'm sure, will get bigger if I were to click on it and there were to be a photo there. So if we go back again, I'll show you the player. Tap on a song and it slides right up. This is a bit different of course from the white background and the sliding up motion which is still pretty smooth on the old Galaxy Nexus. Um, if I just focus up here to make sure everything's in focus. Notice how the album artwork is scrolling from left to right because it's quite large. That's really great if you have good, beautiful artwork, so that works well. You have your thumb up here. Uh, actually, that's an instant mix thing, so you can press that and it'll... Actually, no, sorry. You press that and then you start an instant mix. You can go to the artist and do all the same things you were able to do before. Um, landscape mode is still here, so that works nicely. And the same good old notification widget is still here. So again, I can click back to it and it slides back up again. Overall, um, I love the update to this. This is version 5.0.10. Um, if we go back here, out here, it is a bit touchy. I'm still getting used to it. And I'm looking through a live view feed. Go down here, music version. So that's all good. Same things are in here. Um, to choose on device music, you go back out back out, up there, and see all music and device music, on device music. To choose uh, what things are there, you can still go into the artist and click, or you can just go into the menu and settings, and then choose on device music. That's changed a bit in this latest version, and I know I had a bit of trouble looking around for that. Um, main, that's the main features of it. Um, this orangey and white design, I love it. That's for music, and I'm sure the other, I know, Green is for games, um, that new game center that's going to be released shortly. And then we have the shop here as well, which takes you right to the shop. But I'm on airplane mode now, so I don't get any calls or anything, so that's all good. Once again, um, that's been a look at Google Play Music app for Android. This is available for every device running Android 4.0, so that's ice cream sandwich. So that's all your Galaxy S3, Galaxy S2, Galaxy S4, if you're lucky enough to have one. Um, HTC One, all the other phones that are brand new will get the update. Um, no need to update Android, just go to the Play Store and download Google Play Music. And you'll get this amazing application for yourself. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Todd's Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, tech news, and other computer videos.